Hello, my name is Alexander Lee, and in this video, I want to talk about currency. More specifically, I want to show you how to make your own currency that you can deploy onto the Ethereum blockchain. So we're going to create a smart contract that functions as a token, and we're going to deploy it onto the blockchain. So, but first we need to talk about what traits make money valuable. So this is a really good infographic on Investopedia that compares gold to fiat dollars to cryptocurrency. So this currency that we're gonna make, the smart contract, it's in many ways the criteria that it's going to have are gonna be better than that of US dollars. So it's gonna be fungible, it's gonna be non-consumable, it's gonna be extremely portable, more portable than US dollars, it's gonna be durable, more durable than US dollars, extremely divisible, we can set the how many decimal places uh, it is divisible to in the smart contract itself. It's going to be even more secure than US dollars. It's going to be very easy to transact. It's going to be scarce. We can actually set the supply of the currency that we're going to create the token in the smart contract itself. It's going to be decentralized and it's going to be programmable. So in many ways, the currency that we're going to create this ERC 20 token, it's going to be more fungible than US dollars. So for example, US dollars, dollar bills, they're not all the same. So if one dollar bill or if this dollar bill is somehow damaged, it's gonna be less valuable than a bill that is in perfect condition. And I've actually run into this problem multiple times when I'm trying to exchange currency and I you know, try to exchange and the person at the exchange counter says, well, the, the, doll, the bill is damaged. We cannot accept this bill. So it kind of makes you think about the fungibility of US dollars to begin with. So this currency that we're gonna make, this ERC20 token is actually gonna be more fungible than US dollars. So, but the thing is not all cryptocurrency is fungible. A lot of people make this mistake because for example, if you, if you own some sort of token on the blockchain that was previously used for some sort of illicit uh, transaction. Potentially the value of the currency, the, the token that you own on the blockchain, potentially it's not as valuable because it's somehow tainted. So not all cryptocurrency is perfectly fungible, but for the sake of this video, I think that the currency that we're going to make is actually more fungible than US dollars. So, and also the currency that we're going to make this ERC20 token, it's actually going to be more portable than US dollars. So if you're carrying a lot of money, like fiat currency, it actually at a certain point, it almost becomes a burden. If you're carrying $100,000 somewhere with you, I mean, you're going to have to carry an entire suitcase with you almost, or a briefcase at least. And it's, it's burdensome. Whereas this currency that we're going to make this ERC20 token, you have access to it as long as you have access to the internet. So that's amazing. Uh, it's also gonna be more durable than a US dollar bill because this is, you know, you can burn this. Whereas the durability of this ERC20 token depends on the durability of the blockchain itself. Uh, I mean, assuming that the contract itself is, um, is good and it's been audited, which this contract that we're going to deploy has been audited. Um, so it, I'm sure the quality of the code is good. Whereas dollar bills, they, they fall apart. They, it's just paper. At the end of the day, it's just paper that was created by the Federal Reserve. So this ERC-20 token that we're gonna create is actually more durable than US dollars. And the divisibility of this token that we're gonna create, we can set it to whatever we want. We can set it to divisible down to two decimal places like dollars, I mean, or we could set it to whatever we want. In this case, we're gonna set it to 18 decimal places because that's sort of the standard of ERC-20 tokens, divisible to 18 decimal places. It's gonna be extremely secure. So the, the token that we're gonna create is actually more secure than dollars because it's on the blockchain. Um, you'd have to hack the entire blockchain to counterfeit this token that we're gonna create. It's also this, this currency we're gonna create is extremely transactable. You can send it anywhere in the world to anyone who has an address on the blockchain, on the Ethereum blockchain. So in that way, it's it's pretty much more transactable than you know, gold, or obviously gold, and to a certain extent, more transactable than even US dollars, uh, because 
you can't send US dollars anywhere in the world. Like think about somewhere like in so if you were trying to send money US dollars to someone in Venezuela or Iran for whatever reason, uh, you probably would not be able to do that with US dollars. But if someone had internet access in one of these countries like Venezuela or Iran, you'd be able to theoretically send them this token that we're going to create. And also this token we're going to create is scarce. It has a fixed supply. I mean, the contract itself, the person who deploys it has the ability to increase or decrease the supply, but that's just specific to this contract that we're going to deploy. Obviously this contract that we're going to deploy is not sovereign because I'm not a government, but it's definitely more decentralized than fiat currency. Because if you think about euros or fiat uh, US dollars, um, in the case of the Federal Reserve, there's 12 people that sit on the board of the Federal Reserve. And the fact that billions of people around the world use dollars, it sort of seems like that's a disbalance, that 12 people get to decide when we print US dollars and when we don't print US dollars. So it's not very predictable. We can't predict inflation. Whereas when a token or a currency, cryptocurrency on the blockchain exists, we, we can see the code itself. It's, it's transparent. Fiat currency is not as transparent as cryptocurrency. And finally, this currency that we're going to create is actually programmable. So we can write a separate smart contract that says, when certain criteria are met, we will automatically transfer X amounts of this token we're going to create to another address. So that's what's really cool about this currency that we're going to create. You can't do that with US dollars. So let's head on. Let's head into Remix. Remix is the uh, Solidity, like it's the IDE for Solidity. It's um, interactive development environment for Solidity smart contracts. So this is the contract, the smart contract for this token that we are going to create. So what we're going to do, you can see that this is all coming in from a lot of the stuff that's in this contract is coming in from GitHub. So we're importing other pieces of code from GitHub into this contract. So right here, this is the supply that we're going to create. So since we're dividing it, so since it's going to be divisible to 18 decimal places, we have to attach 18 zeros to the end of this uh, this number here. So I think this is 1 billion, you can count, but 18 decimal places and then we're going to create 18 or 1 billion tokens. So what we're going to do is we're going to compile this smart contract and we're going to deploy it. We're not going to deploy it onto the Ethereum blockchain, but we're going to deploy it onto a test network of the Ethereum blockchain. So you could deploy this exact code onto the Ethereum blockchain and you would have a token a smart contract that would exist for as long as the Ethereum blockchain itself will exist. It would always be there. So that's what's really cool. So you could do this yourself. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to deploy it to a test network of the Ethereum blockchain. So we're going to call this smart contract uh, Alex, Alex coin. And the symbol for it is just going to be ALX. So we're going to click transact. And in order to deploy a smart contract onto the blockchain, you have to pay a gas fee. So this is on Remix. And we connected Remix, which is like a wallet for your addresses on the blockchain and we, we connected it to the test network. So we're just going to click confirm and it's going to take a second for it to actually deploy the address. So we're going to switch on over to this other account that we have here. So this transaction has been confirmed. So we successfully deployed this smart contract to this test blockchain which is identical to the Ethereum blockchain. And we're going to add the address of this smart contract that we created. So we can see how many coins we have in our, you know, in, in our MetaMask. So as you can see, this is 1 billion Alex tokens. So we're going to send it to this other address that I have created on the same blockchain. So we're going to copy this address 
and we're going to send some tokens to this address. I'm going to send Alex tokens specifically. All right, so I think this is 1 million uh, Alex tokens. Yeah, so we're going to send 1 million Alex tokens to this other address. I'm going to click uh, confirm. And in a minute, these 1 million Alex tokens should arrive in this account. So what we have to do though, is we have to copy the smart contract address and actually tell MetaMask that we own tokens in this smart contract. So the transaction has been confirmed and you can see that now we have these 1 million Alex tokens in this account. So the reason why this is, this may seem really simple and it is, I mean, it's just code that runs on the blockchain. That's what a smart contract is. But the fact that anyone can create a token that meets these key criteria of currency it might not have value, but the fact that someone can create a token that is as fungible as fiat currency, it's as portable or even more portable, it's more durable, it's highly divisible, it's more secure than fiat currency, it's easy to send to anyone in the world, it's scarce, and the fact that it's decentralized, more decentralized than fiat currency, and the fact that it's even programmable. When you look through the course of human history, when have, been, when have people been able to do this? We've never been able to do this. So the fact that we can do it now, it means that we live in a really interesting time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna run this code, I'm gonna have a link to GitHub where you can just copy and paste this code into Remix and just play around with this code. I really encourage you to just play around with Remix, understand smart contracts a little bit better. So yeah, this, this was a really fun video to make. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you want me to make more economic related videos and blockchain related videos, let me know. See you next time.